Hi, I'm IDME's AI avatar. This is episode 3, level 1 of IDME's Demystifying AI series. So, what are the different types of AI? In episode 2, we discussed the three groups of AI based on capability. In this episode, we'll talk of the four different groups of AI based on functionality, how AI is used. Within the type of AI, classified as narrow AI, we spoke of in episode 2, there are two functional AI categories. Firstly, reactive machine AI. Reactive machines are AI systems created to perform a very specific task and have no memory. They do not recollect previous outcomes or decisions and thus only operate with currently available data. Reactive AI is centered on statistical math. It can therefore analyze huge volumes of data to produce what appears to be intelligence. Examples of reactive machine AI are in traffic management systems, gaming, streaming, and smart home devices. The IBM Deep Blue Reactive AI beat Gary Kasparov, chess grandmaster, in the 1990s by analyzing the chess pieces on a board and predicting the mathematical probability of outcomes per move. The Netflix Reactive AI makes suggestions of what you might like to view powered by models that process data gathered from viewing history. The second type of AI within the category of narrow AI is limited memory AI, which is the most widely used type of AI used today. This form of AI can remember past events and outcomes and monitor specific objects or situations over time. Limited memory AI can use past and present moment data to decide on a course of action most likely to help achieve a desired outcome. However, while limited memory AI can use past data for a specific amount of time, it can't retain that data in a library of past experiences to use over a long-term period. As it's trained on more data over time, limited memory AI can improve in performance. Examples of limited memory AI in generative AI are ChatGPT and DeepAI. These rely on limited memory AI capabilities to predict what is going to happen next. For example, the next word in a sentence. Virtual assistants and chatbots, Google Assistant, Siri, and Alexa combine natural language processing, NLP, and limited memory AI to understand questions and requests, then act to compose responses. Self-driving cars use limited memory AI to understand their environment real-time and make decisions on when to act, for example, to brake, reduce or increase speed, and to turn. The third type of AI within the functionality categorization is the theory of mind AI. It is a functional class of AI that falls within the capability classification of general AI, which I discussed in episode 2. It is a theoretical form of AI. It does not exist today. If this form of AI exists incorporating theory of mind functionality one day, it will understand the thinking and emotions of both non-humans and humans, in theory allowing the AI to simulate human-like relationships. This would lead to personalization in its interactions with individuals based on their individual emotional needs and objectives. Further, AI with theory of mind functionality would have the capability to process and understand the context of art, design, and written material, which generative AI tools are currently not able to do. The fourth type of functionality is self-aware AI. Self-aware AI would be intended for applications that will possess super AI capabilities, which I mentioned in episode two. Self-aware AI is theoretical and does not exist. Such an AI system would have a sense of self or consciousness and be able to sense or predict others' feelings. Such an AI system is a long way from being developed. Thank you for being with us on this episode of IDME's Demystifying AI series. This episode was brought to you with Deep Real Technologies. Please join us for episode four soon.
Don't forget to leave your questions in the comments section. You never know, we may make a video especially for you.